welcome to another whip and chat it's monday morning the 13th of october and it is uh about eight o'clock in the morning i was supposed to make this video yesterday but um time simply just ran away from me so yeah i'll do it today so i have my cover minders the black fish is from rachel ray she has her own uh etsy store and so does the uh, little puffer fish which has made this one so i'm working on aria stark and she's upside down uh, so i'm working on her face her forehead at the moment and this will be the last time you will see a whip and chat with Arya Stark. Yeah. Um, let's see. I'm doing, oh, let's see. I'm doing the four, symbol four, if you can see there. And that's my favorite color. 3756. I don't know why. I just I usually don't like bright colors like this, but it's that tint of blue in there which just looks very nice. Sorry, my daughter is on her way to school, so she might be giving me a call or a message. Yeah, so <clears throat> I'm starting to run out of colors and I know that I've you know um yeah I have some wax in one of these small container uh, in these small containers and I don't know the wax in this is horrible but you know I have a hard time throwing stuff away you know you have to use what you have because maybe one day you don't have any wax and then you wish you had used that bad wax first yeah so um i have an area with a lot of fours in here and i wanted to try to multi place but i don't think it turns out that even so I'm just going to do the checkerboards. I think that's going to work fast. Um, yeah, so back to Aria Stark. And running out of drills. There is especially one symbol. It's this symbol, the 3799. I ha hardly have any drills left. And... I've looked at what's left of the painting to make and no, it's not enough. Plus there's quite a lot of trash left, uh, which I've decided not to use. So I need to order drills and I'm, I think that there is some, where's my tweezers? Where have I put my tweezers? <laughs> what? There. Um, uh, I think also I'm going to run out of... I made a list like 413, 417. Yeah, there's some, some more colors. So I guess I need to finish uh, the painting with the drills I have to you know find out which drills i need to order i i guess i am going to um contact sophie's beauty on aliexpress where i bought the painting but you know if they agree if they would agree to send drills 
then I will, you know, even if they do it for free, I will have to pay about $10 to, um, ah, come on, to get them into the country since I live in Sweden. Uh, and it's because my post office charge quite a bit for handling those packages. So it's not the tax that's expensive, it's the post office fee. Uh, so I'm thinking, plus, whoops, uh, I will have to wait, not a month, but a few weeks to get them. So I think if I order from, um, I call it, I think it's called Smith's Beads in England. They have drills as well. If I just order from them, you know, I don't have to pay the tax and uh, I, I'm guessing that it shouldn't take that long. Um, yeah. And I think a bag of drills, like 200 drills, were, it's not a pound, what, 0, 40, what's next, pence? Is that how the um, money are in uh, England? I don't know. But I'm thinking I could get like two bags for a pound and that's, around 13 Swedish kroners. So I, I guess that's okay. I guess there will be some shipping as well, but. So that's why I've decided that this is the last time I'm doing, uh, I'm painting uh, Arya Stark on my weapon shed because uh, I will just try to finish this up as fast as possible so I can find out what, which drills I'm missing, order them, and you know, I'm so ready to start another painting, which, <laughs> which has colors, I hope. Yeah, so the next painting I'm doing is uh, the v Victorious Moon, the lion. I love that painting. It's the picture it's beautiful and I'm very very curious of uh, yeah you know the drills and the canvas and everything because there is so uh, many different op opinions about it and yeah so far I've only I've only had positive uh, feedback with this company so I'm curious yeah so that's next week I'm gonna do the lion Yeah, and I have that wolf and the woman. I have, it's like, I've been diamond painting since this summer, you know, I've been diamond painting for months. <laughs> and it's so frustrating because I only have one finish. The small one I started out with. Oh, yeah. The others are not finished because I'm running out of drills or the drills aren't the best quality, so I need to get new drills yeah so that's that's a little bit a little frustrating because it feels like I've been diamond painting forever and it's like yeah do you have any finishes uh nope <laughs> so yeah anyway I have I do have uh, quite a few of these big ones because they take time 
and I'm actually considering order another big yeah uh, it was just my daughter uh, they um, they have this uh, program called Schoolsoft uh, where the teachers are communicating with the students and parents and you know send out all kinds of information and results and you have the schedule you have everything in school so so yesterday evening my daughter received a message from her gym uh, teacher who said that uh, they didn't need to bring uh, clothes because they were going to have theory so they should just wear their uniform and my daughter uh, sent out the message to her classmates in Snapchat. And quite a few of them were like, no, we haven't received that message. And yeah, there were quite a few who didn't know that they were not going to have PE or gym or whatever gym class. Uh, so she was very stressed out about this. So she just called to say that she had found the teacher. Was she was gonna go and ask? So yeah, yeah. However, um, I can't remember where was I. Um, I can't remember what I was talking about. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Oh. I don't know why I ran out of colors. I just, I mean, I know I've been messing up with the drills a bit but I mean there is a lot of drills missing so oh well I will just order and hope that the colors doesn't mismatch too much so what has been going on this week She was correct. They weren't supposed to have. They're going to have theory today. So my daughter was correct. Yeah. Um, oh, I want to show you. Because my older sister, she also... Um, she also do diamond painting after I started. She was like, oh, I got to try that. So, she finished hers yesterday and it was so nice. Let me find it for you. And it's a Hua can and she hasn't complained a bit about it. So this is the picture, the painting. It's not a picture, it's a painting. Very nice, right? And it was like, uh, it wasn't that big. I think it was like 30 by 30 or 40 by 40, maybe 40, 40, yeah, 40 by 40, I think. So that was really nice. So I was very, because the, the cat and the elf there are quite small. So I was curious to see how the detail would turn out um, because a picture like that, I would definitely go for a lot bigger, but I think it turned out really great. And what makes me so happy is to see that you can get that kind of detail in a smaller piece because yeah, everyone wants, you know, you want to finish, 
faster so you can start a new one so if you can get something around 40 50 uh, centimeters in size uh, that means you can finish off faster and still have a really nice painting so so that was really great so i wonder uh, if she has another one to start with uh, I'm actually thinking of um, maybe surprising her she has a birthday soon and I wanted to make some special uh, not something special for her so yeah so now the fours are done let me pour it back in the right container and I'm using for this kit I'm using the Deris I love the Deris but uh, I don't know if you watched me do the kitting up video of the Victoria's Moon so I'm using one of those you know the hard bags with the round containers in it i really like that one too very nice so these are nice yeah so now it is time for uh j so that's 3065 Yeah, so Monday, what did I do Monday? I think I was working Monday to Wednesday, right? Yes, I've been very busy with um, um, the Inktober. I've been sketching and drawing every day and making time-lapse videos every day. So that's been taking a lot of uh, my time my free time and that's why uh, time disappeared on me yesterday because I was working all day and I was my husband also worked so I had to do the laundry I had to uh, take care of the dogs and work and picking up my daughter because she was at a friend's place so I had to do everything in the evening so I was busy, 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 and then I needed to do the October challenge and make the film, and the editing takes quite a while. And it's not, um, I have a routine on how I make the videos. So, um, so that doesn't take too long. What's taking up the time when editing is that my computer is not so good. So when I'm um, rendering the video and exporting it and uploading it, those three um, moments are like taking at least half an hour each. So that really sucks. You can't, I can't be very effective uh, when doing that so that's really unfortunately I, I i wish i had a faster computer for for the editing but everything costs money so you have to choose and at the moment i don't feel like throwing money on a new computer So yeah, that's why I'm off work today, because I worked this weekend again. I've been working a lot of weekends lately. And yeah, I'll be working the next one as well. Now, okay, so back to Monday. I know I also said in my last <laughs> weapon chat that I should start taking notes on what I'm doing so I can 
you know, yeah, update you on what's going on. But I forgot again. It's no, it doesn't want to. Um, what did I do on Monday? Oh, I can't remember. It's like I have no life. I've actually started, um, yeah, reading. I think I mentioned that before as well. I'm reading one of uh, a Norwegian uh, author. His name is uh, Joe Nesper. And he's writing some awesome uh, criminal books. And I don't remember if it was like the 11th or something in the series. And it's so nice. And I'm actually, I usually listen to audiobook books. But I really wanted to try you know, to get back to reading and force myself to do this. And yeah, that's, it's been, it's nice. It's not going so fast because I rather, you know, watch YouTube when I go to bed, which is stupid to do, I think, if you want to read. So sometimes I have to like force myself to read at least, you know, a, a chapter. So, but it's very nice it, when you start reading, then it's not that difficult, you know. So, I just love that feeling when you, you don't want to put the book down or you're like looking forward to like the next day in the evening, you're thinking, oh, I'm going to read another chapter and see what's going on. That's a nice feeling. And that's just, I, I think that it's only books who can you know give you that feeling so yeah and yeah when i was off work earlier in the week as well then i made quite a few unboxing videos most of them are diamond art club but i also received my winnipeg uh paint by numbers and oh my god i chose <laughs> i chose a beginner's painting and when i opened it and looked at the tiny 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 detail i was like is this a new beginner painting so I'm so intimidated by it now. I don't, I don't know. It's like teeny tiny. It's so small on the canvas where you're going to paint that you, I mean, I have a very hard time seeing the lines where you're going to paint it. So you need to use the reference uh, print, which they sent together with the painting to actually, you know, oh, maybe uh, here. And some lines, you can just see a number. No lines. Because the lines are so tiny, teeny. So I don't know if that's going to be anything good. I'm very, yeah. I don't have any high hopes, let me say that. But I'm going to try, of course. But I might not start with that. Um, and then, oh, I received my watercolor package from England, from Jackson's Art, who had the silver brush black velvets. And I haven't even opened the package yet. I'm so, you know, I wanted to do an unboxing. And I know that when I open, I want to, you know, just pull out some paper and just throw down some paint and just feel these 
brushes and I've ordered like a new palette I've ordered a new water bin and oh uh, yeah I so then it can't be like a normal unboxing and then I thought maybe I should just do the unboxing on my whip and shed but then I was like then it's not a whip and shed and yeah but I'm like I'm very 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 excited about these brushes I cannot believe that they're in that box I'm like I cannot open it because at the same time I get scared because then I'm like I want to paint but in my mind I can't paint I don't know what to paint without looking on a video like a YouTube video uh, yeah I, you know hmm. so then I'm thinking as long as the the brushes stays in that box I don't have to put myself in that situation I know it's really silly because I really 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 love watercolor and yeah I really 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 want to you know practice this Um, yeah, but yeah, I will make an unboxing and try the stuff out. What else did I get? I, I ordered also with that package with the watercolors and of course there's some new watercolors as well the graham the m graham and there are some daniel smiths and there was another color another um name what was it man uh, not malibu but something on m uh yeah i wanted to try out the scrubbers i think maybe so it's you use them for uh, i think you can use them for blending a little bit but also for lifting uh color so you uh, can lift and get some highlights in your picture Yeah. Just trying to feel any drills if there's something sticking up. So we're done with that color. Let's do, there's two A's there, which I forgot. 30, 24, or maybe I didn't forget. Ah, never mind. There's two there anyway. Just stab and grab. There we go. And then we have one, two, three, four of the last color. Fifth, five. 1200 Did I say four or five? So sensitive that bottom on the light pad. So that's another section done. 
Very nice. Oops, 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 oops. Let's see how much time do I have left? Oh, I'm almost done. So yeah, that's cool. Might need to switch out some, you know, you want the face to look okay. Let us roll a little bit. Yeah, I will do that and I'm gonna. Because there were some uh, bubbles in this area, unfortunately. So. Okay, so now we need to remove the cover paper and start with the, maybe I should have it on the highest. So then I usually just tear it off. Is the last I need to check for those bubbles. I'm not sure how much you're of this you're gonna maybe there's something there. Otherwise I think it looks quite okay. It looks smooth and nice. Okay, so now I need to see how much you can see in the camera. Yeah. Yeah, you can actually see the whole whole one. So now I'm, I'm gonna start with black. Uh, all this area, all those symbols, they're, they're black. And I want to start with a checkerboard pattern for the black. And just to get that over with. Um, so this is what I have left in those. I had quite a few of these big bags. And the big container with black. So I think that's going to be enough. A red drill from nowhere. Oh, isn't that just satisfying? The lines with drills. I'm going to fill it up again. So I guess I will just start up here and just place those single drills. Oh, I'm so, I'm so done with this picture. You know, I, I want to start something new now, like right now at this moment.
and there are so many of the paintings that I want to start. <laughs> yeah, don't put your hand down on the glue. That's, that's not good. Mm. Yeah, so I'm still looking at the <laughs> Royal Diamond Painting web store. I really want one of those bookshelves and one of the patterns there uh, I call I think it's called secret garden uh, I'm not sure uh, what it's called on Royal Diamond paintings web page but um, I have that pattern as a cross stitch and started it just a little tiny teeny bit started it on yeah cross stitching and the thing is I'm thinking I don't want to buy patterns in diamond painting which I already have in uh, started like in cross stitch I don't know why I'm thinking like that because I probably probably will never ever ever finish those big uh, patterns in cross stitching because it just takes a lot of time to stitch so I just I was like well I could just go in and take a look at the diamond painting on royal diamond uh, their website and I mean to my surprise I thought that the biggest uh, patterns they have are like 100 by 140 centimeters and that's huge I mean that's like that's really 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 big but this picture oh my god it was 120 by 170 <laughs> I'm like what it it's I was like it's almost as big as a, a it is as big as a bed holy crap it's huge and it was fucking expensive as well I'm sorry if I it was and it was very, very, no, it was, it was expensive. But of course, if you buy it when they have 40% off or something, you're, you're going to get like the diamond painting of a lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> but then at the same time, I was like, okay, so where are you going to have it? Forget about where it's going to be when it's done because you don't have to put it up. It's just, you know, those bookshelves are a real joy because there are so many things going on. So you will ne never have these big color blockings of black, 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 black or anything. There's something going on all the time. But, you know, you need to have a working area for such a big painting. I mean... At least the table you're working at needs to be able to hold a 120 by 140 centimeters. I'm having problems with something over 100. So, yeah, I need to drop that, you know. <laughs> but it was, wow, can you imagine? Yeah. But uh, yeah, and then I'm starting to, you know, think, well, if they can make such a big pattern, then it has to be possible to do the supersized heaven and earth um, cross stitch patterns on a diamond painting, which is just so ridiculous. I mean, I have, I have enough, but you want more, don't you? Oh, have you seen the picture which um, is going around on Facebook 
Oh, it's a picture of a doormat. And on the doormat, it says, hide my, please hide my package from my order or something, package from my husband. So it is a message for the mailman. <laughs> and underneath the door, the doormat, there's like a big tube of a, a of course it has to be like a diamond painting so he's trying to hide the <laughs> the diamond painting under the doormat which yeah oh it's just a hilarious uh photo yeah. anyway Yeah, there were at least one of the newer re releases, which I liked. It's, it's a yellowish, reddish uh, picture of, it's like a squirrely patterns. I really like that one. Oh, come on with the laying hand is a glue. Um, Oh, and and the the two, uh, the one with the leopard and the lion. Oh, those are nice. Wow. Yes, I like those. I like those a lot. Yeah, and the Hannah Lynn's and those. No, I don't know. The Snow princess, princess is the one I like most, but no, it's like the, the Disney princesses. The Disney princesses? Yep. They're very nice, but I mean, I don't... No. No, it's not my style, really. I want to do something cool. Uh, there is a painting on AliExpress with um, the Predator and Alien, and they're playing chess in one of those uh, offices. I like that picture. It's quite cool, actually. Yeah, I just want to do something which is like different. But it has to be fun. Otherwise you lose interest and you're like, nah, I'm going to do something else. Yeah, so I mentioned some while ago that, you know, my biggest, biggest dream when it comes to watercolor, like what I really, really, really want to do is to draw birds and then paint them with the watercolor. Like Stephen Mitchell, Steve Mitchell kind of way, the way he do does it. And so I bought this drawing book about how you draw birds by, what's his name? This book here, 
the law's guide to drawing birds. So John Muir, Muir Laws. And I've drawn a few after this book and it's, yeah, you can see it's a bird. But what's so freaking amazing is, I don't know how it happened, but I came across a YouTube video where this author is having, he's recorded one, one, quite a few of his classes of how you draw birds. And it's an updated version from the book. He has changed the way he starts uh, drawing the birds. And the videos are like hours. And you, I just feel, I cannot, I, you have a book, you read the instructions and all of a sudden you have the teacher there recorded the class where, which you can watch over and over and over again. For me, it's like, if you want to learn how to draw birds, you have all the, um, um oh, I need to find that word. Forutsetting, let's see. Forutsetting. Uh, no. English provided. You have everything provided for you to actually start drawing birds. And no, you're not going to do beautiful birds at start, but you know, I don't know what I'm waiting for. Seriously, I don't. Again, I'm, I get so scared of everything, you know, because I want it to be perfect from the start. And then that stupid thing about the feeling like that is that if you want to be good at it right away, there is no learning curve. And that's what, you know, makes you develop is when you have the development in what you do. So I just need to, I know it's not a diamond painting thing. I just need to jump into it. Do you know what I should do with diamond painting? I should actually get a kit with a bird because I have a thing with birds. Once in my life, I hated birds, but now I just, I think they are so beautiful, seriously. At the moment, it's the owl, owls in all kinds of ways, which I love. And then you have those uh, blackbirds, which we have, uh, I see them like now when it's winter. It's not winter now, but we're going there. And they're flying around in these big masses and you follow them in the sky and they're making patterns. And, you know, I can just stand and watch them. You know, I just have to stop. And then you have the geese, which comes in spring and they fly away in these V formations and you're like wah 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 <laughs> I just love it I have to stop and watch them yeah and you know the funny thing is you know we you hear about these uh, what you call those bird uh, oh words uh, oh, uh, you? Ornithologists, ornithologists, those people who, you know, sit with their binoculars and watch birds and they, you know, make a mark in a list in the date and they they're like I saw that bird the first time this year and I'm like how can you want to sit somewhere and just look for birds and I totally understand it now because I want to do that 
that's silly, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm just, I just feel very fortunate that uh, I actually found that uh, those videos on YouTube. He actually has a YouTube channel that's just awesome, really, it is. So, yeah. And I also received the stamp. I was going to stamp uh swatch cards for my watercolors so i ordered you know ink and the acrylic block and the stamp came from uh the states and the stamp is like four dollars it took quite a while to get here because it was like by ordinary uh, US Postal Service. <sighs> How much did I pay? I actually think I paid $18. But if you live in the States, it's $4. Yeah. I'm not sure if I had to pay any tax as well. But this is the the stamp very nice so you you know give the oh, you paint here like the full strength and then you do a graded variant here and you write you know name and brand and which pigment number and these i'm not sure yet i will have to take a look better look at that but that's nice so now i have the full set for stamping. I've never tried it before, but I'm really looking forward to do that. So uh, I put another small order of uh, art trading cards where I'm going to stamp these swatches on. Um, or that swatch stamp and then paint. So it's art trading cards for watercolor. And then when I have those cards, I can more easily uh, measure out uh, the size of those trading cards. Because it's like two and a half by three and a half inches. But since we don't have that measurement system in Sweden, we have centimeters. So it's going to be like 6.90 six centimeters and 97 millimeters and it's it's it's, it's not gonna be a good way to measure if you're going to repeat it over and over again uh, but of course i could also just buy a ruler with the inch uh, system on it but now i just ordered the cards and that will do I'll be trying to, I've been trying to multi-place with a six-placer. I think I would like a four-placer instead. It's a bit difficult to get it straight. Yeah. Uh, it's amazing with the, I know there's quite a few on YouTube who use those huge lasers and they get them straight as well you know to save time
don't know. Should I just fill? I think I'm going to fill that corner. And then continue with the checkboard pattern on the big area. So the checkboard, when you're putting out the pattern as to start with, it takes a little bit more time. But then we're going to fill it. It's fast. Yeah, that was just the alarm. My camera only shoots. Uh, it's 30 minutes, but I think it's a little bit less. I'm not using my phone for filming. I did try that once, but I didn't. I don't know if I forgot to press play or and yeah. There were no movie or film when I video when I was going to export it to the computer. So yeah, I'm just using the camera. Yeah, I noticed as well that uh, square, when I'm working with square drills, I intend to press harder and I'm pushing the drills in place and all. So I get, I can get quite a lot of pain in my fingers, in the joints. And I'm a secretary as well, so I'm writing... Um, I'm typing a lot in my work and that also gives a strain to the joints and the fingers. So I'm starting to think that I hope it won't give me any problems because I really enjoy square drills. I hope I understand if people don't do square if they get pain in their hands I totally understand that so the lion I'm gonna start uh, next uh, Sunday my next whip and chat uh, I think I'm just gonna start out with that then um, so that's round so it's going to be interesting to see if, if I notice any difference. But as I also understand that the glue on the Victorious Moons are really, really strong. So you can't push the drills around if I have understand it correctly. But yeah, it's going to be great to get your own experience in it. Yeah, so it's soon um, Halloween, but we don't have Halloween in Sweden. Well, it's not like a holiday for us. Uh, at the stores, love it, of course, because they're trying to sell all kinds of stuff related to Halloween. And we have one of those... Uh, what you call those amusement parks. They have like a week open around Halloween. Uh, you get like a zombie one and the spooky house. And well, there's a lot of stuff there. I've never been there. I, w I actually want to go. Uh, but it would be so cool if we actually in Sweden also had Halloween. It's one of those American holidays 
or events that I think is so cool. And I know that the stores are making a lot of money on it, but... Hi. I'm sorry about that. It was my husband who came home. He's also off work. He's been uh, with his car to get that checked. So I just wanted to talk about that. It's his cars were getting rid of to yeah save some money and uh it's also like an environment uh, choice we're making. We don't need two cars. We're going to try to manage with one and use the bus and bikes and all that. Oh yeah, and talking about my husband. This Friday... Um, we ended up on the emergency. In the emergency. He's allergic to peanut, peanuts. And he bought some gingerbread balls. Gingerbread candy. And he ate two of those. And I ate one. And he asked. Didn't that just taste like peanuts? And I'm like, no. Who would put peanuts in gingerbread? Seriously. So this happened when we were out walking the dogs. We came back home. And he picks up the bag where those candies are in. And he's like, no way. There's peanuts in it. So he gets very stressed out, which I understand. And I call, I didn't call the ambulance. I called, we have another place we can call and, you know, talk with a nurse and get some advice and stuff. So I called right away because this has happened before. And that's both those times, at least twice, we've ended up. Uh, we he's ended up going with an ambulance to the hospital so that's why I called right away and yeah they talked quite a while with him and listened you know to how he was feeling and how he was breathing and all this so instead of waiting for an ambulance for an ambulance we took the car and took him there by by ourselves so I drove uh, and my daughter she was like so curious of the hospital and the emergency and the people working there so she wanted to come along too <laughs> but I think she regretted it afterwards because we were there like half half the night uh, because once we got there, they, you know, put him in a room straight away and gave him some meds. And after that, you know, uh, the emergency is kind of over. And, you know, his life isn't threatened. And the hospital doesn't have that many doctors at night. And in the weekend. So, uh, of course, we have to wait quite a while for the doctor to come. Uh, to make an, uh, what do you call that, like an assessment. And to make a prescription for some meds. So he can bring them home. And, uh, yeah, because there's other... Uh, emergencies where you know uh, people are fighting for their lives 
So after like two, three hours, we actually went home without seeing the doctor because he was, thank God, feeling so much better. And we were both getting up very early in the morning to work. And yeah, Mina, my daughter, she was so tired. But uh, she thought that the nurse was so cool. And she was like, I want to be like her. I want to I wanna do what she's doing. But then, you know, when she started talking about needles, my daughter was like, mm -mm, nope, I take that back. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, I think it would be awesome if she would like to work in the hospital as a nurse or even a doctor. Uh, I think it's uh, like a real honor to be able to work at a hospital, to be a part of that. But that's my opinion. And yeah, so he's doing fine. Uh, but it gives a real scare when it happens. And um, yeah, we said, we agreed on that. We have to be more careful. And, you know, check uh, the ingredients before you buy something new or try something new out right <clears throat> so what's coming up this week let's finish off What's coming up? I am having a student at work. She's in, she, yeah, it's a she, she's in training. So, so it's me and another secretary who's, um, you know, uh, sp taking care of the student. Uh, so that's gonna be uh, fun. Um, I like to teach. Um, and yeah, today I'm also having a checkup on my car. I'm delivering it today, so tomorrow I'm going to pick it up and get the doom. How much it's going to cost and if there's stuff they need to, to do. Um... And this evening we're going uh, to my daughter's school to get this, uh, what do you call it, like a middle way, halfway talk where they talk about how she's doing in school and if there's something we need to, yeah, if she needs some more training and stuff and all this, but... She has made amazing progress uh, in this school. It's amazing to see. I'm so proud of her. And, you know, she's so happy. And, uh, yeah, the difference is just insane. And even you know we parents get a lot of insight w with uh, what they're doing their homework uh, meetings uh, the teachers are like informing the parents so what's going on so you get really 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 involved with your school, with your kids education and the school. So that's just so awesome. I, I wish we would have more of these schools. 
So I'm, I'm, we are very, very happy that she made the choice to switch school. Yeah, I'm working the next weekend as well. So that means I'm not gonna do anything special. I'm gonna continue with the Pink October. I hope I will find the time to do the time lapse. And I need to make an unboxing let's see I'm I'm off um, let's see Tuesday and Friday as well oh and I wanted to oh I wanted to grab my tent and my my burner and some food and just go out into the woods put the tent up take my book make a cup of coffee or like one of those frozen dinners and just be there like for an hour or two just relax that would be so nice uh, yeah that or I need to I really need to make that unboxing video of the watercolors yeah I know I need to do that so you can see it's a big area of shes uh, checkers pattern yep but you guys let's just put down five more drills and we're I'm gonna call it a day and then I'm gonna show you the drawings I've made on Inktober so far I think that was five, wasn't it? So let's straighten them a little bit. Okay. So, can you see it? Yep. The ring, the mindless, and the shark bait, and your brain freeze. And here I built my house using a one way perspective and the husky eye, but I think it turned out to be a little bit too human. And then I tried to make an enchanted painting and uh, I drew in with the ink, the details with ink. So this is the fragile rope and swing. So I wanted to do the dotting uh, method on the whole picture, but it's going to take forever. So this, these. This was patterns. I used the Sentangle book and I tried to make a landscape picture of the Sentangle pattern. And here I was going to dry s draw uh, snow. So I wanted to do snow on the trees and I'm very happy with it. But then I put in the shadow and it just ruined the whole thing. So I shouldn't have done that. And here's my dragon. So this is Falcor. And um, I found a picture uh, on Fal Falcor 
So I use that uh, picture as a reference, but I put in more fur. And then I wasn't happy, happy about the uh, clouds and stuff I put in. So I just painted all out with black acrylics and put some stars in. Yeah, and this is ash. So first I was thinking of making like a cigarette with some ash. But then when I googled the word, because sometimes you get some synonyms or something. And then I saw that uh, this guy from Pokemon is called Ash. So I told my daughter, how difficult can it be to draw a manga, you know, if you have a picture of the guy. So I used her manga book and yeah, it turned out okay. I just need to do learn how to do some good um, shadowing with the uh, ink. So that's it. And today, uh, Monday, the word is uh, overgrown. So I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. But um, yeah, I think I've talked way too much. And uh, I'm going to continue on my diamond painting. I hope I will finish off the black today. And uh, I'm very close to finish. So, but the next time you'll see me on a whip and chat, it is time for the lion. I call it the Leo from Victoria's Moon. So it also, it's also going to be like a whip and chat with you for that company. Yeah, but, uh, so if you have any questions or anything, just leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.